All right, students, sorry for the bad lighting. Uh, this one was one of your pop quiz problems that we also had for homework. It's an equation. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw the line so that I can distinguish between the two sides. Okay, if I see no fractions, then that means I'm going to cover one side and ignore it, focus on this one and ask, are there any distributive property to get done or are there like terms? Okay, so right here, I see this and this are like terms because they both have an M as their variable. So I'm going to put them together. Notice they're on the same side, so I just need to add them, right? Five minus four. Remember different signs, we subtract and keep the sign of the largest. So right here, it would be one M plus 10, okay? Now that side is simplified. Now I can look at the other one. The other one is 14 minus 4m. It's already simplified all the way. There is no distributive. There is no like terms to combine. So I just bring it down. Nothing happened to it. After that step where I cover each side and simplify each side, now I'm going to look at the whole thing and decide if the variable is in the same team. You notice how there's an m here and an m over here, which means they're in different teams. I have to move them to the same one. So I'm gonna decide that I want to move this one, so I will circle it together with the sign, put an arrow, I'm gonna move it to the other side. Remember to move it, you either subtract or add. Here it's a minus 4m, so to move it to the other side, I do the opposite and do plus 4m. And what I do to one side, I do to the other. Notice how I align it below the m's because it belongs with the m's. This one zeroes out. I still have 14 on this side. Now over here I have 5m and nothing happened to the plus 10, so it is there. Okay, on my next step, now I'm at the party, right? Now remember, I still want m, that's my goal, alone. So I'm gonna concentrate on this side because m is not alone. So that means everything that's not an m, I gotta move it and get rid of it to the other side so I have m by itself. So I'm gonna do minus 10, remember the other people go first. In other words, the number that is not together with the letter, in this case plus 10, moves to the other side first. So minus 10, minus 10. This is a zero, 5m equals four. Last step, to get rid of the five, right? I want m alone. When the letter and the number are together, the variable and the coefficient, to split them apart, or the opposite of multiplication is division. That becomes a one, and what I do to one side, I do to the other. So m equals four over five, or if you divided eight tenths.